Hello everybody. So now we are talking about the uh, energy balance uh, for open systems. We uh, discussed the closed systems before and now we will uh, go through the um, details of the energy balance for open systems. We'll see what's different and how this will reflect on the um, the equation that we use for open systems. So uh, there are a couple of things we need to discuss before uh, we go ahead and talk about the derivation because the derivation depends on these points. So the first point is the um, the uh, the work uh, because th this work is is going to be one of the main differences between open system and closed system. So before before we proceed, we said that the the open system is a system where there is a mass that crosses the boundaries of the system. So there is mass going in, mass going out, or both. Um, so this is what we mean by uh, by open system. So this this uh, difference between the open and closed system will reflect on the uh, on the performance of the system or the way we um, we describe the system mathematically so one of the main differences is how this flow in and out is going to affect the energy balance this is a very very important uh, point um, or, or how this energy uh, of the flow going in and out will affect the um, the the uh, the energy uh, uh, equation that we are going to to uh, to use so now we have just to understand this we have two types of work um before in the, in the case of oh, a closed system we said there's a, there's only one type of work which was the shaft work the piston the mechanical work that we uh, we saw in the example that we solved here we have one more type of work so the first is what we are very uh, familiar with which is the shaft work which is the work done on the process flowed by the moving parts like the pump rotor like the shaft like uh, any anything that applies uh, work on the system this is the the first type of work which is uh, is going to be uh, possible in both cases for open and closed systems the other type of work which is only um, uh, present in case of open systems is what we call the flow work. The flow work is the uh, rate of work done on the flow at the system inlet minus the work done at the system out. This is not clear at all and I understand this not clear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through each one of them in more details just to demonstrate uh, the difference so it's clear for you uh, what do we mean by this and what do we mean by this and how this will show up in the equation. So let's talk first about the first time which is the shaft work. The shaft work is, uh, we said based on this definition, the work done on the process flowed by a moving part. Uh, so let's take an example with a very, very famous system, which is the pump. Uh, this is the pump that we use at homes uh, to, to uh, push the fluids to high, um, high um, elevations or um, higher uh, floors or something like this. So um, the, the pump consists of two main parts. The, the part which is uh, the, the, the motor, so the motor is what converts the electric energy into mechanical energy. So it, it takes the electricity and converts this into rotational motion. So this is the, the pump um, and this rotational motion is meant to be transferred to the other part of the pump. So th there is this coupling which, uh, which um, um, transfers the, the motion, the rotational motion from the uh, from the pump itself, or I mean from the, 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 the motor itself, to the, the, the main part of the pump. So this is where the fluid pumping takes place. The fluid goes in here and comes out of here. The fluid doesn't go anywhere close to this part. It's confined in this place, it goes in, and then there's something inside that pushes it, gives it energy to move, uh, to move up. So to understand what goes in here, let's let's take a look at this uh, video. It's a very very nice one. So it it shows us what is uh, actually inside the pump. So inside the pump, you'd see there's something here that is uh, something like a fan, which is called the impeller. So this uh, impeller is uh, what rotates, uh, which is this thing. It it rotates uh, when the the uh, motion is transferred from the uh, from the motor to the impeller which is inside here so what happens is that the fluid going inside from here which is equivalent to what is going to go uh, from here uh, at this point and then it rotates very very quickly and as it rotates it is giving energy the centrifugal force to the fluid so this force is what the fluid gains uh, 
uh, as, as, as mechanical work. And this is what increases the potential energy and uh, the pressure, I'm sorry, and increases the kinetic energy. So it gives it uh, enough energy to increase the velocity and increase the pressure. So this energy is going to be uh, what the fluid gains in order to go to high elevation. So this is simply uh, an, a very, very simple example of the shaft work. There are other examples, and here we have we have the shaft work is the, the shaft that rotates and uh, the, provides the energy to the fluid through the impeller. Um, it can be a piston like what we, we saw before. Um, a piston that has uh, is in, in a cylinder with two openings. It, it sucks the fluid from one uh, one one opening and then pushes it through the other. So there are other other types of, of work uh, that that we can see uh, the mechanical work or shaft work. Uh, but at the end of the day, there is some sort of a shaft that is uh, providing the the energy uh, to the fluid. And this is what we mean by shaft work. Um, in this case, we don't need to have uh, motion in the system boundaries, like uh, in case of closed systems. In closed systems, since there is no flow in or out, so the work will not show by any means except uh, by motion of the system boundaries. Here, the fluid is going in and out, so the fluid can gain energy and leave, so it's it's fine. We don't have this, this restriction of maintaining the system boundaries as we had before in case of uh, closed systems. So this is the first type of work. Uh, we said there are two types of work, the, the, the uh, shaft work, which is this type. The other one is called the fluid work, uh, and in order to, or the flow work, in order to understand what we mean by the flow work, we need to understand how flow happens. So let's say this is our system. There is uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, pipe or tube or whatever that we have that is providing the flow into the system. And there is another um, tube or pipe that is uh, letting the flow to go out of the system. So we have two, two flows, one flow in and one flow out. It's an open system, so this is what a, an open system means. So in order for a flow to go from point one um, to point two, or from, uh, from, from here through the system and get out from here, there must be a driving force. So there must be something that forces the fluid to go from this place to this place. So what forces the fluid to go from a place to another is the pressure difference. This is the driving force. The actual driving force is the pressure difference. And this is very, very, very well known thing. Um, if, for example, if you have if you have a balloon and it's filled with air and it's very, very uh, tight, so it means that the pressure inside is very high. If you if you poke it, it will explode. And the reason it's exploding because there is a pressure difference and there is a sudden motion of the fluid from inside to outside so this is this is a very very well known thing um, so if you have uh, a flow going from a point to another it means that there is a pressure in the first point higher than the pressure in the second point so now we have let's say we have here a pressure of four atmospheres and here we have a, f a pressure of two atmospheres so for the fluid to go from here uh, the fluid will go from here to here because this pressure here is higher than the pressure here now comes the question, um, when the flow is going from this point to this point, is it going with a pressure of four atmospheres, four atmospheres, and suddenly decreases to two atmospheres and, and continue? The question is, how does the pressure change from this four to two? This, this is a question that we need to answer, uh, is how the pressure decreases. What happens in reality is that the pressure decreases gradually. So we have um, the pressure here is four atmospheres and it keeps decreasing gradually from four to 3.8, let's say, and according to the, 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 the change in pressure and the, the factors affecting the pressure and the losses. And these are all things that you know, are, are uh, of interest to the fluid mechanics uh, courses. So um, we, we cannot go through these details. But what we need to know is that there is uh, something that reduces the pressure as it goes from this point to this point. So it, it decreases gradually from four atmosphere until it becomes two atmosphere. So this gradual decrease apply, makes, makes the, the, the fluid uh, applies work on the fluid coming after. So this fluid here has the pressure of four atmosphere, applies work on the fluid here because it has higher pressure. And this fluid here applies work on the fluid after, and this applies on the fluid after, and keeps on and on until th it reaches the other uh, the other end. So each part of the fluid is applying work on the coming part because it has higher pressure. Uh, so because of this, this difference in pressure, we have uh, uh, work 
that is applied on each part of the uh, of the fluid in the in the tube as it's moving so we our our interest is the boundaries of the system so if we take a look at the uh, at this part of the system where the fluid is entering the the system we have this fluid directly before the boundary is applying some force or some some work on um, on the fluid at the other side of the boundary exactly like each part is applying work on the next then this is applying work on here so this is what we call the flow work that there is work at the system inlet because of the fluid that is here uh, has higher pressure than the fluid on the other side of the boundary and the same at, the, at the, the outlet we have the fluid directly before the outlet has higher pressure than the fluid directly after the outlet so this is applying work on the fluid leaving the uh, leaving the system so th this uh, the work that is 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 here and is here due to the difference in pressure between the 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 boundary uh, or on the other on the two sides of the boundary this is what we call the flow work so this is simply why we have something or some new type of work that was not there in the closed system in closed system we have no flow in no flow out so there is no uh, no such thing on, on the on the open system so for the closed system since we have flow in and flow out and since the fluid needs to have or must have higher pressure to be able to enter the system and the fluid inside the system must have higher pressure uh, to be able to leave the system then this difference in pressure at the boundaries at the inlet and the outlets um, uh, this is what we call uh, or what generates the uh, the flow work um, so the the flow work is the um, yeah, let's say this is the p in v in and this is p out v out then um, the flow that pressure p in which is newton per meter square or pascal enters the pipe at a volumetric flow rate v uh, in which is meter cubes per second and exit at p out and uh, v out uh, if you remember we said before that work uh, has units of um, uh, joules or joules per second and we said that the joule is um, either newton multiplied by meter or pascal multiplied by meter cube and this is something we said in the very first video when we were talking about the units we said it can be the the um, uh, newton multiplied by distance or, or or force multiplied by distance or pressure multiplied by volume so the work in is p in v in and the work out is p out v out so the difference is p in v uh, p out v out minus p in um, I'm sorry, it's it's the in minus out, so it's p in v in minus p out v out. This is what we call the uh, flow work. So now, when we um, talk about the the, uh, the 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 term of work in open systems, we actually have two uh, two uh, types of work. It it has two components: the component of the shaft work and the component of the flow work. And this is very 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 important this is this will 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 have a very important a very very big impact on the equation to understand these two uh, two types of work that we have in case of open systems so i'll stop here and in the next video we will talk about one or two um, things that we need to know before we talk about the derivation of the equation so i'll see you then inshallah goodbye